So you've made your first film and now you're sat there wondering what's next. The first thing you think of is film festivals. The chance to see your movie up on the silver screen, your name in lights, maybe even win an award. But you go on Film Freeway or do a Google search and thousands of results come up. Too many film festivals, too little time. And here's the worst part. A lot of those so-called festivals are really just scams made to separate indie filmmakers from their hard-earned cash. So how do you spot a fake film festival? Here's a handy guide to what I look out for. Too many awards. So here's the submission categories for Norwich Film Festival, a mid-sized festival in the UK that's got pretty good press. It's usual to have separate categories for local and international submissions, there's also often a regional category as there is here. Animation and documentary are different formats, so they usually get their own award, as does student film. And some festivals will have an additional award for low budget or micro films. That's a normal amount of award tiers for a short film festival. Now, compare it to a fake film festival. If the festival offers awards for every genre under the sun, different age groups, special awards for posters or even trailers, and why, by the way, it's a short film, then chances are it's more about getting your money than giving you your money's worth. These festivals have huge amounts of awards to make sure that people post about them online because if almost everyone who screens gets an award, then of course those people are gonna say, hey, I got an award at this festival. So these awards aren't here to give you a career boost. They're here to make sure that you publicize the festival so that they make more money by getting more people to submit. Pretty devious stuff. Monthly events. So if you just want to see your film up on a big screen, then monthly events might not bother you. But if you want to use film festivals as a career boost, then you need buzz and monthly events unfortunately just don't tend to cut it. If the film festival you're replying to happens 12 months a year instead of annually, most likely it's not worth it. And again, this is often being done so they can get more submissions in rather than actually trying to put on a big event. And a caveat here, by the way, there are plenty of good short film nights and networking events that happen on a regular basis. No problem with them but there's a few differences. Most of all, they don't tend to charge for submissions or they don't charge as much, and they also don't market themselves as festivals. Those are two different things. No industry recognition. Now, this is a tricky thing to judge, as many new film festivals won't yet have buy-in from the industry, and I'm not trying to be elitist here. I'm not suggesting that festivals need to have like a really prominent director giving them a talk or an organization sponsoring to deliver real value to audiences. But as a filmmaker, it's worth thinking about what you actually want to achieve by submitting to festivals. If the festival has no interest from industry, you're unlikely to get good connections out of it and it can be a red flag that the festival is badly run or unprofessional. Some festivals, of course, are more about audiences than they are about filmmakers, which is absolutely fine. But in my experience, those tend to be the cheaper festivals anyway, so they're unlikely to be the scam festivals. No event at all. During the last few years, many film festivals, for obvious reasons, have had to run digital-only editions, and it's no longer the red flag that it used to be. What is definitely a red flag is having no proof of an actual event at all. This can be quite obvious. Many fake film festivals will have an Instagram full of pictures from selected films, but no pictures of events or even a Zoom call, let's say. Sometimes it can be more subtle. Some scam festivals have been caught out photoshopping pictures of prize winners to pretend that they've previously run editions in different countries or cities than they actually have. Just to state the obvious here, if you're submitting to a festival that doesn't have a screening, doesn't have an event, doesn't do anything in person, doesn't do anything online, then you're not really submitting to a festival. You're submitting to like an awards factory that's just going to hand you a certificate for your movie. Um, and again, if, if that's what motivates you, then I guess this isn't a scam for you. But I think most filmmakers, at the very least, want to see their film screened. They select everyone. If you're a filmmaker, chances are by now you would have received an email with a subject line like, your film has been selected. And unfortunately, that's not always the good news that it sounds like, especially when you haven't yet submitted a film to it. Generally, scam festivals accept all the filmmakers who submit their films and pay the entry fee. And this is even more likely if it's a digital-only festival because they don't have to pay to have the screen open for longer to screen all the films. 
Now, this is fine if all you want to do is add another laurel to your poster, but it shows that the real reason they're running this festival is to get your money. Not worth the price of submission, literally, do not submit to places that guarantee they will show your film. That's it for my tips, but if you're looking for more information because this is a difficult part of the industry, I recommend taking a look at the links that I've listed here and in the description for more resources about fake film festivals, including the Code of Ethics for the Short Film Conference, which is an alliance of actual film festivals. And in case it wasn't clear, this is just my opinion, a collection of things that I've noticed from a decade of short submissions. So if you're a film festival organiser watching this and thinking, gosh, my festival does these things and it's not a scam, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. But it might be time to ask yourself, what is your festival actually achieving for filmmakers or for audiences?